Now, live from Studio 550, this is the McGraw Show on KTRS. Hey, congratulations. Missouri is the uh, top uh, country, uh, top state for meth labs. Once again, Jefferson County in the lead. But uh, elected officials uh, want to try and change that. Uh, new anti-smurfing measures. To talk about it is our good friend, Missouri Attorney General Chris Coster. Attorney General Coster, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS. Good morning. It's good to be back. Let's talk about this anti-smurfing campaign. What are we talking about? Well, we have teamed together with the Retailers Association and the Pharmacy Association to take a, a modest but a step forward nonetheless to continue to raise awareness about the problem in the public. And so tent cards and posters are going to go up in participating pharmacies around the state of Missouri to let smurfers, people who go into a, a pharmacy and buy pseudoephedrine on behalf of a meth cook, let them know and, and let everybody else know that this is, A, a crime, that we take it seriously in the state of Missouri, and that you're going to be prosecuted if you get caught. Uh, when when I was a kid, we used to call it hanging for beers, where you would ha- huh. wait, where where you would wait, and you would pay somebody money to go in and buy you a, a six pack of beer when you were underage. That same idea, tenfold, is smurfing when it comes to cold medicine for meth dealers. Correct? Right. Uh, methamphetamine in the state of Missouri continues to be an, an enormous problem. Uh, we, as you mentioned in the uh, preface here, we continue to be the number one state in the country year after year. It's an intractable problem. Jefferson County, Jefferson County alone had 346 labs that were turned up and, uh, and shut down in 2012. If Jefferson County was a state, Jefferson County would have like the seventh largest meth problem in the country compared to other states. In other words, Jefferson County with 346 labs alone is number seven on the list of states. Uh, only a few states have more, lab, uh, more labs than Jeff County does. This is an enormous problem, and the legislature, I, I believe, is, is simply turning a blind eye to it. Other county governments have been good at, uh, at focusing on the problem. Jefferson County, of course, realizes the scope of the problem that they have. That's why they passed the prescription law. But we have not seen commensurate action down in Jeff City. Right. Well, I'll get to that in a second. What's the penalty of buying cold medicine for the sole purpose of then reselling it to a meth dealer or, or a meth you, you, uh the, the state statutes allow you to hit the problem from two different directions. And so there's some prosecutorial discretion that is allowed in, in these decisions. Uh, a, you could come at it from, with a D felony, one to four years in uh, the Department of Corrections, for the possession of a precursor with intent to produce or to provide to a drug producer. So that is one avenue in on the problem, a D felony. The other avenue is if there's a high level of intent, I think that you could be charged with a conspiracy to produce uh, methamphetamine uh, of distribution or production conspiracy, and that would allow a prosecutor to bring a B felony, B as in boy, uh, which would be 5 to 15 years in the Department of Corrections. Has anybody been charged with either of these things, basically buying cold medicine for meth makers? Oh, I'm positive that they have. I have. I, I don't have individual cases in my mind, but I can't imagine that that has not occurred with all of the uh, with all of the smurfing and, and case uh, and, and these cases that are going on in the state. Last year, as, as we mentioned, Missouri is number one with 1,825 labs that were uh, closed down and uh, discovered in our state. And they've also said that uh, when they interview the meth makers, they say for every 10 labs that are out there, one gets busted. So if that's how many were caught, 10 times that are at least out there. I was a prosecutor for 10 years over in western Missouri, and, and that statistic, you know, we're moving into anecdotal territory when we quote statistics like that. But is it believable in my gut? Yes, it is absolutely believable that if there's a 10 for 1 ratio out there. You, Chris Coster, Attorney General, are in favor of making cold medicine prescription only, correct? I am, and I continue to be uh, in favor of it. I, you know, like everybody else, I will uh, trounce off to Walgreens at you know, midnight one night when I've got a bad head cold, and it will be an inconvenience to me, just like it's an inconvenience to to everybody else in the state to see it uh, put on the prescription list. But the scope of the problem that we are facing and the number of homicides, let's not forget the number of homicides that in this state that derive from the methamphetamine trade, 
which is probably as high or higher than it is related than homicides are related to any other drug, in my mind justifies the uh, the social um, inconvenience. It's also they're saying in, in, with um, foster care and child services, they're saying they're calling this generation of rural Missouri the lost generation because you have children growing up with, without parents because the parents have been lost to the to the to the meth epidemic. I agree, and and Western Missouri was a hotbed, just like Jefferson County was a hotbed when I was in my prosecution years for this stuff, and I've seen the way it, it destroys families. But the, the upside about why I, I hope that people are at least open-minded to the prescription solution is it, that it is one problem where a governmental solution uh, does exist. We've seen the prescription-only law pass in Mississippi. We've seen it pass in Oregon. And uh, those are the two states that have passed it. And their methamphetamine production just plummeted uh, in the years following their passage of this law. So when Missouri is faced with the most meth labs in the country year after year after year it would seem logical that this type of a solution should be considered by this general assembly and and i think embraced so you're saying uh, attorney general chris crosser that the state of mississippi is more progressive than the state of missouri right the state of mississippi uh saw their methamphetamine production probably fall by 70 or 80 percent after they passed this law uh, Oregon had a, a tremendous problem. I think they were up in the two or three hundred meth labs a year. Last year they had nine methamphetamine labs. And I, I think that most people in law enforcement and, and the view that I have is shared by probably 94 percent, 95 percent of the law enforcement community. That passage of the of the prescription only law would put in a giant dent in the methamphetamine trade. Unbelievable. Uh, Missouri Attorney General Chris Gosser, always a pleasure. Sure, have a safe uh, time, and we'll talk to you down the road. Thank you, sir. You got 758 here on the Big 550 KTRS.